This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Next Games, creator of AMC's official game, The Walking Dead No Man's Land. Yeah, man, you love tactical combat strategy games. You love falling in love with characters and hoping that they don't die. And you just try to do your best to do the best combat that you can. And then they die and you're like, oh, you, why'd you have to die? I feel so alone. What's happening? <laughs> Effort. <laughs> it's a good game. You know you can eat styrofoam packing peanuts? Well, not technically the styrofoam ones. There's something light. There are packing peanuts, but they're like made from a potato star. I don't know what I'm saying. You can eat freaking real styrofoam. Yeah, I was about to say, agree to disagree. You can, is it bad? Bad idea, bad idea, really bad bad? idea. it was a bad idea. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> is it gonna turn into that little crusty powder? It's awful, it's awful. I shouldn't have done that. Melting styrofoam into knives. All right, Murphy, I'm seeing styrofoam, dangerous chemicals, and a butterfly knife. Something tells me it's we're going- It's a party. Yeah. Or we're going back to prison. We are going to use styrofoam to make a knife. Nice. I saw a guy doing this online. He ended up making like his initials with the byproduct. That's cute. Yeah, Somebody, it's somebody's like, uh, hey, leave me alone. These are my initials, man. Yeah. I thought we we're going to make something dangerous because it's the modern rogue. So we're going to use acetone to break down this styrofoam and then reshape it into a blade. Yes, all the way, yes. Okay, uh, okay uh, tools of the trade. Uh, first of all, safety stuff. Gloves, respirators, acetone is nasty, nasty stuff. Yeah, nail polish remover. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when I quit my day job, uh, you know, the fuel that I use for the fire eating is Coleman Camp Fuel. It's naphtha, 100% naphtha, which is, I believe, somewhere between gasoline and benzene. But I talked to my doctor and I'm like, hey, I know you're not gonna love this, but this is what I'm putting in my body. He seemed to be way more concerned with aspirating it than actually ingesting it. Not that you would do either, but I think we have to be very serious about not breathing that stuff. Especially when it starts to break down the styrofoam, I can't imagine there's anything good going on. We want to, I assume, dissolve the styrofoam, make a goop. Exactly, we're gonna shape the goop yep. into a knife and then let it dry. Right. It might not work. All right, we got a couple of different types of styrofoam. I don't know which one's going to work, if both of them will work, if neither of them will work. Where did you get this? I got this off of Amazon. Styrofoam is strangely expensive. This was like $10. Wow, this was definitely not $10, but this is, I think this might be for craft use or something is why it's more expensive, whereas this is industrial use. Oh, it's just packing material yeah. there. Okay, uh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's up with the clay? What do we do with that? Oh, we're gonna make a mold for our knife. And this is actually uh, C4. It was, it was the cheapest <laughs> on Amazon, man. Yeah. This is just straight up molding clay, right? Yeah. So do we wanna just copy the butterfly knife? Yeah, sure. And I'm just squeezing it down in here, you think? Yeah, and then after it dries, we're gonna have to sand it down and get it nice and sharp. And I guess in prison, you would just do that by rubbing it on concrete or whatever. Yeah, that might be too shallow. Yeah, so I'm go gonna, a little deeper, yeah, knowing gonna, that we're gonna cut some off. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my thumbs to like make some sort of crude blade. With the intention of filing it down exactly. into something real. This one I'm gonna kind of cut out just a trough. We That's a good idea. Maybe like a stabbing thing. Yeah, because mine is ridiculous. Looks like a chimpanzee crafted it. Oh, I was about to say, it looks nothing like a chimpanzee, sir. This is uh, kind of similar. When I did that video with the King of Random, we made brass knuckles and we used Play-Doh to create a mold. That worked pretty well. Oh, cool. Which makes me fairly optimistic on how this is gonna go. So we got three different impressions of the knife with different depths. We have a shiv that'll be kind of like a a dart or a dirk. Is that, is that, is that a thing, a, a dirk? A dirk? Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, 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 okay. And then we've got just a hand boat. We have a boat. A we have a boat. We have a great boat. This is an ashtray. It's a good boat. <laughs> so now what? We, we make the goop? Let's try making the goop. Uh, I don't know what kind of yield we're gonna get. We'll pour the acetone in first, and then we'll dip it in. All right. I'm just gonna start with like a tiny little, bit, tiny little bit. little bit of acetone. Let's see, let's see, in fact, I'm gonna guess that there's some moment that it becomes saturated. Uh, so we wanna see, all right, there you go. Oh, okay, uh, first yep. lesson, everybody gets this wrong. Yeah. Do you know why they have this output off center on this? No. When it's totally full, people tilt it and it pours out and, and it goes everywhere. The reason it's in the corner is so you go the opposite side and look how far over you can get before any comes out. There you go, like that. Yeah, way better. It was better. You ready to try it? Do not breathe the acetone, human. I, I hope this very, works. I'm very curious. Oh, oh my God, it's bubbling. Do you feel it dissolving underneath? Here, push down, push down hard. Oh, that's satisfying. Yeah, right? It's working. I didn't expect it to bubble. 
So is this just gonna pour out? Yeah, it'll turn into a thick goop, like almost like toothpaste. And that's just like a type of hard plastic, like uh, the same you would get out of uh, flatware, plastic flatware. Yeah. It seems like it's saturated at this point. It's not taken anymore. Really? Maybe we should leave that in there, get another glass and try this one and see how that works. Oh, that's a good call. So I'm guessing when we pour this in, basically half of it will be acetone that will evaporate off and the other half will be this mixture goop, right? That's what I'm thinking. But when I saw it, the goop was much thicker. Okay, I'm gonna try it your way, smart guy. All right. Oh, just like that. <laughs> hey, look at that. See? I got, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Okay. This is the stuff. This is bad styrofoam we got on this end. That's the, that's the real goods right there. It's just immediate. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bear's mentioning, super flammable. Oh, yeah. And again, this is just nail polish remover. Yeah, dude, this is also, I've seen it as gum and spot remover for like cleaning supplies. It's actually kind of fun. Very satisfying. Yeah, dude. When you stir it around, look how fast it goes. Yeah. Yeah, dude, this one, this one just gave up. It's just done, huh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. That acetone is getting super saturated now. You think we're ready to pour? I think we're ready to pour for this one, yeah. Turns into a nice, thick Boy, slurry. it really does. This seems eminently workable. Wow. Now, the idea is we're gonna pour it into the mold. I, I think we should just let it dribble into the mold. I think we'll get a more precise pour that way. Let it sit for a few days. The remainder of the acetone evaporates off. Yeah. And then we're left with a uh, semi-hard plastic. Oh, look at it, it's already drying. So at this point, I'm just kind of painting it up and down the mold. And our molds are terrible. We're gonna have to do some considerable shaping afterwards, I, right? I don't even know that they're that terrible. I mean, they seem pretty, pretty decent. They're exact impressions of knife blades, right? Well, yours is, mine's a canoe. <laughs> I think that one's pretty good. Look at how fast it dried too. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, all right, hold on. Try this on for size. Not only do I make this one deeper. Yeah, there we go. So we get mirror images of this. Oh. I'm so curious if that's gonna work. We're gonna fuse these together to create an actual mold. Use the straw and just dribble it in. Don't do it fast. That's too fast. You want a thin line so it'll go straight down. You know what? I think we can add a add little, a little bit of acetone. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So stick it in and twist it like you would some honey and then just let it dribble in there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I guess kind of stick it in and wipe it off in there. <laughs> I'm, I'm becoming increasingly uncomfortable with this imagery. <laughs> okay. You want, you want to do the dirk? Yeah, let's try that one. So all of these are just going to give us raw materials to shave down to some kind of bladed edge, right? Yeah, it's going to be vaguely knife shaped and then we're going to just reshape the hard plastic. And I don't know how hard it's going to be. They're probably going to be like one use knives. Stab break it off. Oh, geez, that would be awful. Yeah, right? It's funny because you're fine and then you catch a whiff of that acetone and it's like, woof. This leprechaun over here keeps telling me it smells really good. <laughs> I'm like, shut up, I'm trying to concentrate here. And uh, I guess just pour the rest in the boat. The purpose of this is to be, what? Something to work with? Just to make thicker. A... Yeah, okay. I wanted one that was like a little bit bigger and sturdier. Okay, well then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get it kind of to a point here at the very tip. Yeah, that looks So it's good. a little more like a spearhead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, we're still gonna have to file it down. I'm gonna fill this up with hot goo. <laughs> Close your eyes and listen. So about like that? You yeah, think? I think so. I think I think all of them are done. I think I think I guess what we let them stay. How long? Two days? I think that's pretty good. Three yeah. or four days? Do you want to light it? No, no. Uh, maybe no. Number one, there definitely would be bad fumes that would come out from it. Number two. Oh, absolutely. It's the acetone that would burn it. I think the acetone's largely bonded. If we lit that, it would be the equivalent of lighting a plastic knife on fire. You think? Yeah. That's not a plastic knife burning, dude. <laughs> Regardless, it's not impressive. That's definitely all the acetone burning off. But you see, once it's gone, you can just, you can just blow it out, right? I think it's kind of impressive. It's not impressive, you're just, you're a child. 
Okay, so we got some time while these cure. What is the best method you know of to cause time compression, to make suddenly time fly by so fast that you can't believe it's already over? Uh, I recall many times in our shared history where we would start playing a video game on Friday afternoon and then Sunday night, our respective significant others were saying, hey, uh, you gotta work in the morning, quit playing with Brian. Dude, I'm telling you what, whether it's a card game, a post-apocalyptic adventure or taking over the world, there's something about it that causes time to compress. And in fact, the number one health hack that I figured out is hopping on the elliptical or hopping on a stationary bike and playing any kind of turn-based strategy game because you'll think it's like 20 minutes and then boom, an hour, two hour, three hours has gone by. I always like them because they're kind of like chess in that you really have to think about your next move. Otherwise, all of your hard work is gone. Well, how fortuitous you feel this way, sir, because our sponsor, Next Games, has the official AMC's Walking Dead game. It's got tactical turn-by-turn -turn strategy where you take your players, you position them in different areas, you deal with oncoming waves of, of the Walking Dead, and the more cleverly you position everything, the more chess-like you think about everything, the better you do. It's also got that awesome random reinforcement where you get loot pickups after the end of every single episode, so you get excited when all of a sudden like, oh, thank God, I got a level three pipe to bash in the brains of these undead and so on. And on top of that, they have a whole aspect to it that is village building, right? You start with a very small encampment and you build it out, you build it out, build it out. At every point, you feel ownership of the city. You feel a kinship for the characters. You want them to stay alive. I, I, I gotta tell you, Think back to any time you played a tactical turn-based strategy game and you're gonna hit all of those notes on this game. All right, uh, I'm a fan of The Walking Dead. What characters does it have? Does it have the characters in the oh, yeah, yeah. It's got Daryl, it's Michonne. She's in there. It's got um, yeah, Negan. He's gross, but whatever. Maybe yeah. he's powerful. This is the benefit of it being a licensed property is that you see characters that you know from the TV show, which just makes it like, I don't know, so good at making the time pass. It's like building sandcastles where you feel like this is right. I I am providing structure where there was none. You're gonna feel like you're rescuing humanity. You're gonna be hanging out with characters you know. You're gonna get to equip them with the most badass stuff, and you'll get to slaughter hordes of the undead. What's what's it available on? Like, oh, dude, iOS, Android, nice. all. Nice. Just tell them we sent you. Yes. What if we reached out and asked to be characters because you recruit people during the game, and it's just like, okay, some of them are characters you know from the show. Others is like Dawn. These or guys make plastic knives. Exactly. And nunchucks exactly. from magazines. What if we showed up holding plastic knives that we shipped? How amazing would that be? They didn't work at all. All right, hold on. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make some calls. We gotta make this happen.
sir. You, well, you want to find out? Yeah. Okay, you ready? <laughs> crack. It breaks into seven pieces. Definitely cracked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> There's nothing in there. How is there nothing in there? <laughs> it all leaked out. This no. is this is what it is. No. This is what. <laughs> <laughs> this was the leaked out part we found at <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> it all leaked out. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> So all we got was a coated side of what used to be. This is bullshit. You mocked my technique. Okay, look. There's nothing then, in there. <laughs> all right, put your finger in and then kind right, of right. rip that out. You can see. Oh, okay. So you got like sort of something. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, I know. This is the one I thought for sure would be the biggest deal. It all, I thought that was going to be the best it one. It all just leaked out. What do we got? We got, we got, <laughs> we got <laughs> garbage. It's fine. You got to use a lot of this stuff. You got it looks the tube like. canoe 2738. Yep. You got Shiv Master 5000. You got the blob and you got um, um, cheap chop. This is just trash. No. This not is the yet. Not yet. Hold off on that one. That's our, that's, we need to experiment. Let's take the blob and see if we can make a Shiv out Are of Are you kidding me? Yes. No, I'm not. Oh, this is kind of gummy where it like mixed with the clay well, at this point. So you're actually gonna try to make a weapon out of that blob of goo. Take a look at this. Yes, there is giant chunks of gaps. Yeah. And that, it's, it's that's not, our big problem. Yeah. But if you instead work with the thick parts, that's no. not, no, that's nope. not great. Nope. Total failure. No, no, hold like, on. abject. Failure. <laughs> okay, I think I might be onto something. I feel better now that we've gotten rid of some of the clay. Because look, as that clay goes away, and it is super serrated because of the bubbles, but we're getting that raw plastic that okay. we created. I've got it pretty thin on each side. I'm gonna try to, to make it to kind of a, okay. a razor's edge. Something that'll pierce the jugular of a freaking undead walker. I don't think that's gonna be a concern because everybody knows you gotta take out their brain. Okay. In my mind, I'm gonna decide that this is gonna be kind of an arrowhead. It was supposed to be a knife. We even have all sorts of paracord and gaffer tape with which to make handles. We, we can still make it happen. We can still make it happen. Look at this. I kind of feel like you're trying to make that last sliver of soap last that's before exactly, you open another box. That's exactly what's happening. Let's say, in theory, you were able to fashion an arrowhead out of pure plastic at this point. Sure. And let's say you could get stuff like clay maybe from the arts and crafts section of yeah. prison. Most prisons have a Hobby Lobby. All right, here's what I want you to do. Closed on Sundays. Give, give that a try. You, you keep doing that. I'm gonna take Big Daddy, try to file it into a decent point because this guy, I don't know, man. I think we might be in trouble. This is not working. You gotta, you just gotta believe. You got a couple more of these. And we got a couple of different uh, files All right. here. All right. Meanwhile, I'll be <laughs> occupied with this fool's errand. <laughs> what, what uh, salvaging this this thing? This is not. There's no salvaging it. You you got it. You got to put something like like a pencil or something. Something that'll that'll well, provide. Well, then I'll just stab people with a pencil. Interior structure. You need interior structure. I really thought this was going to work. But you thought it was going to be a slam dunk. It's gonna work. I think it'll just be a bit uglier than we thought. A bit. Pluck on this and feel how unbrittle that is. Oddly gummy. Gooey, right? Yeah. Like, like a chewing gum, basically, right? It's, it's like the clay I'm gonna is bet, mixed with the stuff. Well, that's what it feels like, but I'm gonna bet that those are areas where the chemical reaction didn't finish. And so you got this kind of gummy stuff, but peeling it away actually brings me to a place where I think, I think we're gonna get a reasonably sharp shiv. Did you just break it? No. It looks a little broken. I just pulled you it have, out. You have two pieces in two different hands. I just pulled it out of the clay You've got accident. a turd tube with a pokey bit at the end. <laughs> I know. It's, that's not There's gonna get you out else. of Riker's Island. There's what nothing else to do with it. This is the shard. Do you remember that show, The Dark Crystal? I do, yeah. This is the shard. Yeah. It's getting right there. There we go. That's a start. 
You're like the saddest kingpin. Oh, it'll break the skin. Already, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, 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 yeah, look at that, yeah. right? Come on. I can't believe the boat ended up being the right way to go. I know. My confidence was always in this one. You realize we have no backups. Uh, yeah. We have to have a name for the shard. Oh, uh. <sighs> Shardic, hmm. the shard. Shart. No, that's. <laughs> So it shall be. <laughs> I'm 12. We all see what we want to see. I believe in the sharts, as you love to call her. <laughs> her. Her. Feeling That's looking it? formidable. Yeah. Picture this. Oh, hell, I'm dead. Like, are you starting to bleed? I'm dead. Do we yeah. want to make it like a dirk thing that you, that you hold on to like this? I can flatten this out and then we can make a grabbable thing. I th yeah. What if we took some of these other pieces and just sort of made it into a stabbable? Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Looks great. Looks like absolute trash. Yeah, Terrible idea. Don't nobody do this. asked you. Nobody asked you. You actually it's literally not. just asked me. Didn't put a whole lot into the thought of the shape, did you? I I know it should be Dirk-like. How's that starting to feel to you? Yeah. You think that's it? I think so. Look at it. This looks like something that you would read about, like, this was taken from a cell right, in San here. Quentin prison. Here's some soft tissue on my neck. Don't stab through my neck. Oh, Jesus Christ! That was hard. You went hard, and it was near my neck. Uh, was it? I was not ready for oh, that. Oh, it was right over here. It was, okay, 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 okay. Hot damn. <laughs> Let's find some other stuff. Oh, you just juiced on my face. Really? <laughs> Sorry. All right, ready? I'm gonna throw this, and I want you to stab it. What? Oh, right, that's ready? gonna go One, poorly. One, two, three. That was pretty good. Requiescat in pace. I don't know what that means. So hold on, what about this? Oh my God, what are you doing? Okay. Look at that, you see that piece right there? Uh, okay. Hey man, we kidnapped you fair and square. You can't escape. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> oh it broke. No, you broke it! No, it's fine. It's fine. You just eliminated the weak part. So I made it shorter and more effective. Okay. And I think it's sharp enough. I think it'll poke a jugular. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I okay. have the perfect target for you. Gimme. You ready? What you got? What you got? <gasps> a zombie! So I guess the scenario is I'm kidnapped by pirate ninjas who want to torture me forever. Also, they're undead pirate ninjas and I need to escape so I could get back home to play the Walking Dead video game. Put this in perspective. This thing was made out of styrofoam. styrofoam. Yeah, and it could kill somebody. Right. I, you know what, I'm John McClaning it. I'm like, ha 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 Okay, well, I, I appear to be very strong. <laughs> but did I, did I poke his face? Oh, yeah. Dude, that does? Dead center. Look at that. All right, let's have it, come on. Give it to me. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no, stop. Oh, okay. Don't do it. <laughs> Did you bring a chicken? A delicious rotisserie chicken. I don't want to ruin the chicken. That looks good. I got it at a convenience store. It's probably been in there for like three weeks. Well, but I'm also hungry. I will only stab the chicken if I could eat a piece. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, Is it's it been in the refrigerator. I'm gonna eat a chicken and throw a chicken at you. You stab the chicken. Wait, what? You're right. gonna throw it. On three. Oh, this is a terrible idea. It's, it's gonna fine. go everywhere. Fine idea. This is good chicken. <laughs> is it? Is it good? Okay. One. Yeah. Two. Three. You punched the chicken. You tore off a leg and then you ate the leg of a chicken. All right. Here you go. Oh my God! Oh my God! You are killing the chicken. So where are we at on this? It certainly matters that you make sure there's not a lot of bubbles. The more bubbles, the more unstructural it is. But like the big one here, this thing will poke a hole. Oh yeah. It'll poke a hole in a guy. Yeah. Stab is usually the terminology. You don't ever hear anyone saying he was poked to death. <laughs> no, they say stabbed. You can actually craft. Uh, an effective shiv out of it. You just have to do it in a certain way. You have to do it right. Can't be too thin, can't be too filled with air, can't be too long. Yeah, but otherwise, yeah, it works. I'm gonna guess if you're imprisoned by pirate ninjas, you'll have enough time to formulate a few different versions of this before you find the right one. I'm gonna say legit improvised weapon. Well done. Let's clean up all this chicken. It's so gross. <laughs>